All right, YouTube, listen up. We got another package in the mail, which I obviously already opened. I already know what's inside. You guys don't know, so it's still a surprise, right? Illusion, okay? Illusion, again, once again, illusion. It's Illusion, 15% off if you use 360 GZ15. I mean, GZ15, it'll be right here on the screen. But let's check these out. Let's open them up and see what I got. Starting with this one. This is a, this is a different type of color right here. Let's see. Uh, this one's hard. This one's actually hard though. Let me see. Look at the colors though. Look at the colors. All right, let's open the next one. Uh, you got the... Magic Johnson vibes here. I don't know. Is it? Is it like magic? It's kind of a magic theme. Magic, magic uh, Orlando type of. I don't know, man. You see it. 15% off. GZ15. Use the code. Let's open the last one. Let's do it. Now this one right here. This one right here is pretty clean though. This one right here is kind of clean though. Like I said, like I said, 15% off, GZ15, use the code. Okay, listen, in this video, I did a transformation. Okay, like dreads cut off. Man, I can't believe it turned into this. What he came in here looking like, he, he left out of here looking a totally different person. But uh, again, GZ15, GZ15. For all your illusions capes, I'm gonna use this one right now. This one's actually dope. Let me see, get this one. We don't need this one, okay? Let's use this one, let's do it. That was the wrong way, hold on. That was the wrong way, that was obviously not right. <sighs> Stay tuned. Alright, so starting this cut off, what I'm basically going to do is cut each individual dread with my shears. What I'm going to do is I'm going to untwist them a little bit just to look at um, which part of the hair is not dreaded. So I want to, you know, save as much hair as possible. That way I could pick it out and just take the hair down, um, you know, with my with my clippers. <laughs> So now I'm gonna pick the hair out, basically, you know, trying to get the hair to detangle um, from being in the dread, dreaded state. Um, definitely, um, I'm gonna go back and wash his hair and uh, basically blow dry and lay it down. So now that I have everything laid with my wall cordless seniors with the three guard open, I'm running through the hair with the grain, making sure that, you know, I don't go too low. Uh, he wanted a number three on top. He's trying to get his ways back. So I'm going to start that process for him. Um, I'm not going to actually get him waves, but you know, you, you'll see as it, as I go along, he'll end up with a couple of ripples. <laughs>
right now I'm basically putting some styling mousse in my client's hair. It's like some styling product uh, that my cousin makes. Um, so I basically put it in his hair and do like sort of like a washing style. I'm gonna brush it in and basically put the do rag on, uh, dry it on the outside, and then unrag, and his hair should be fully laid. So now that I have everything laid, I'm going to start with the taper setting in my bald line with my Babylon Skeleton FX. Now using my wall cordless seniors with the lever open, I'm going up about a half inch. Putting on the one guard, same routine, basically going up about a half inch, making sure I keep it consistent and going over the guideline multiple times so it is at that one guard length. Now with the two guard open, I'm going up, scooping out, getting rid of some of that bulk at the top. So normally I don't go any higher than a two guard, but on this one, I still see a little bit bulk at the top that I need to clear out. So I'm gonna take my three guard with the lever open and just kinda, you know, scoop out and clear out that area. Now putting back on my one guard with the lever open, using my corners, I'm just cleaning up those areas between the one and the two. Now putting on the zero guard with the lever closed in a flick out motion, flick out that middle line. Now remember to start below the line and flick to the line. That makes the process a lot easier, especially you won't bring the uh, fade up too high. So if, if and when you need to uh, go higher on the blend, make sure you adjust your lever as you go up. Last step with the lever fully closed in a flick out motion, flick out that bottom line. Remember to start below the line, flick to the line and use your corners throughout this whole process. Remember to use your corners. So lastly, what you wanna do is do some detail work. I like to go back in and use different guards in different areas, use my corners as much as possible, but most importantly, I like to rest my eyes or look in the mirror. The mirror does not lie. It shows you things in your blend that you need to perfect. So make sure you utilize your mirrors as much as you can. So with fading the beard, it's the same steps. I just go downward instead of fading up.
always like to prep the lineup. So right now, what I what what I like to do uh, to keep my client from having that overhang after he brushes his hair, I like to take my front line down to a one guard uh, with the lever open, and that just prevents the the hair from overlapping. Listen, let me tell you why they call me 360. When they sit in my chair, spin them in the full 360, and they come out looking like... Damn, son, where'd you find this? We make it look easy. You, too, this is The Cut. And if you like it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, please hit that subscribe button. Also, Hustle Dreams Production, that's my brother, he does all my beats. His YouTube channel will be linked in the description below. Make sure you guys go give him a follow. Otherwise, if you want to know where you can find any tools that you've seen in this video, links will be in the description below. Also, you guys can follow me on Instagram and TikTok. My TikTok is official 360 Jeezy, and my Instagram is 360 Jeezy. But it's your boy 360 Jeezy, and I'm out of here. Shit.